us. The message has changed, friends. Let us give the message a distinctive sound in a time of crisis when which we are. What's Now our logo, what in God, that is the glory and the honor which we deserve. We need such a reformation like in The apostolic days when people which was once delivered to the saints the truth which was once delivered to the saints and uh, our work and it is a sign that is to be kept before the world. When you see our partner for instance up there, it's like it looks like that of the Muslim people, like uh, faith of and freedom coalition, it looks like the Indian Express, it looks like the World Council of Judges. So where are we? Our sign was to be distinct. The Sabbath is God's memorial of His creative work, and it's a sign that is to be kept before the world. And this sign was a representation made by uh, the three angels' message. That's uh, a pole or a group with three angels' messages moving very fast around the world. So that is the message which was a rapid one, going to the ends of the earth to prepare people. There is to be no compromise with those who are worshipping an idol Sabbath. Is there no compromise here? There is a compromising. This logo of frames is also like that of the Muslim, that of Indian Express, that, come, that of uh, God Council of Churches, very si similar. That of uh, 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 something like uh, news from the National Coalition of Churches, the same like the United Synagogue. These frames, how is it that the Church of God, the Seventh-day Adventists, look like this? How is it possible? How is it that we don't, uh, we are similar like those who are worshiping an idol Sabbath? There is to be no compromise with those who are worshiping an idol Sabbath. We are not to spend our time in controversy with those who know, who know the truth, and upon whom the light of truth has been shining. When they turn away their ear from the truth to turn to fables. I was told that men would employ every policy to make less prominent. 
the difference between the faith of Seventh day Adventists and those who observe the first day of the week. In this controversy, the whole world will be engaged, and the time is short. This is no time to hold down our caras. Have we not our, our people have held down the, our caras? They have held down our caras. They have held down our distinctive signs. What shall we say then? What did the message of the Lord Aaron G. White say? If you want to understand this one, read the book of Psalms chapter 74, whereby the word of the Lord is giving a cry that we no longer see our distinctive signs. They have changed them. They have compromised everything. A company was presented before me under the name of 70 Day Adventists who are devising that the banner or the sign which makes us a distinctive people should not be held out so striking. For they claimed it was not the best policy in securing success to our institutions. This distinctive banner is to be born through the world to close of profession. In describing the remnant people of God, John says, Here is the patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Revelation 14 verse 12. This is the law and the gospel, friends. The law and the gospel. The world and the churches are uniting in harmony in transgressing the law of God, in tearing away God's memorial, and in exalting a Sabbath that pierced the signature of man of sin. But the Sabbath of the Lord thy God is to be a sign to show the difference between the obedient and the disobedient. I saw some reaching out their hands to remove the banner and to secure its significance. As not the church, the 70 day advance done it so, they did it a long time ago. They removed the pole, they removed the three angels' messages, they, pro they brought crosses to our churches, which we never had those crosses. Oh, friends, it is uh, a sign of the uh, enemy in the gates. That is Psalm 74, that our, the enemies of the gospel are roaring in the midst of us. We no longer see our distinctive signs, friends. Psalm 74 says that we no longer see our distinctive signs. What has happened? They have changed it. Everything. They have changed our signs and banners. When the people accept and exact a superior Sabbath and turn souls away from obedience and loyalty to God, they will reach the point that was reached by the people in the days of Christ. Are we not acting like the Jews, forbidding people to read prophecy as they did in the time of Jesus Christ? When Jesus Christ came and they were not ready, they never knew even when the wise men arrived. They are placing upon a false Sabbath, divine honors and when this is fully done the persecution will break forth upon those who observe the sabbath that god gave in eden as a memorial of his creative power that the commandments of god will be clothed with sacred garments and will be pronounced holy friends we live in the times of the end which we need to prepare we need to be ready in a time like this where is our distinctive science as a people where is our distinctive signs as the people in these last days? So friends, shall anyone then choose to hide his banner to relax his devotion? As not the seventh day hide the three angels messages logo of the group and the three angels messages to relax the message, they are putting away the day of the Lord to be far away so that the violence may increase in the land. Not the preparing the people for the second coming of Lord Jesus Christ. Shall anyone then choose to hide his banner to relax his devotion? Shall the people whom God has honored and blessed and prospered refuse to peer testimony in behalf of God's memorial at the very time when such, such a testimony should be born? Like a time like this? Shall not the commandments of God be more highly esteemed when men pour contempt upon the law of God? When they are dis disregarding the laws of God, shall not these messages be given? To prepare people for the soon coming Jesus Christ? Do we really love God then above everything? Do we love God? If we love God, we keep His commandments. How is it that we have turned the signs? How is it that the church has turned the signs? <laughs> Friends, when the love of God is made void, when His holy name is dishonored, when it is considered disloyal to the laws of a when it is considered disloyal to the laws of the land to keep the seventh day as the Sabbath, when wolves in sheep's clothing, through brightness of mind and hardness of heart, are seeking to convert the conscience, shall we give up our loyalty to God? No, no. 
The wrong doer is filled with satanic hatred against those who are loyal to the commandments of God. But the value of God's law as a rule of conduct must be manifested. The zeal of those who obey the Lord will increase as the world and the church unite in making void the law. They will say with the psalmist, a life thy commandments above gold, yea, above the fine gold. Psalms 119 verse 27. A life thy commandments above gold, yea, above the fine gold. So if we love them, we will declare with the psalmist that the laws of God are good. We should then exalt the laws of God, even in a time like this, when we need a savior. Should be faithful, friends. Be faithful, my brother. Be faithful, my sister. In a time like this, when we need a savior, when we need a savior, when they have changed the distinctive signs, this is what will be sure to occur when the law of God is made void by national act, when Sunday is exalted and sustained by law, when the principle that actuates the people of God will be made manifest, as the principle of the three Hebrew spoils was made manifest. Man manifest when Nebuchadnezzar commanded them to wash the golden image. In the plains of Dura, we can see what our duty is when the truth is overborne by falsehood in these last days. What shall we do? We should worship God and obey Him rather than men. We should exalt the law of God rather than the laws of men in these last days. So who should we honor? We should obey God rather than men in these last days. Friends, approved Jesus Christ as the center. The law of God cannot be made void by the law of a nation. When the law is trampled in the dust, the sacredness of the commandments of God will be vindicated by those who are loyal to him. We are to make no daring accusations against the nations, for this will close our way so we could not set the light before the people. We should not make erring accusations against the nations. We are to make no daring accusations against the nations. But this would cross our way to so we could not set the light before the people. Every objection raised against the commandments of God will make a way for the advancement of truth and enable these advocates to present it is a value before men. There is a beauty and force in the truth that nothing can make so apparent as opposition and persecution. When this is revealed, many will be converted to the truth. So every objection raised against the commandments of God could make a way for the advancement of truth and enable it is advocates to present it is a true value before men. There is a beauty and a force in the truth that nothing can make so apparent as opposition, as opposition and a persecution. When this is revealed, many will be converted to the truth. Manuscript is 15, March 27, 18, and 6. See also Selected Messages, Book 2, page 384 and 385. May the peace of Jesus Christ be with you as you shine forward, giving the trumpet a certain sound, proclaiming the truth even in our time, and directing the people of God to the true Bible Sabbath in these last days which we live. Serve the Lord, worship Him, and Him only shall thou serve, the Lord, the Creator of the universe, who is calling unto us, in these times of the end, we should approve him, knowing that the Bible Sabbath, as the nations declare, stands to be trusted and honored above all. So, in Arabic, it's known as a pet. In other nations like Somari, Sabbath. Saput, so the seven known as those names referring to the Sabbath. So the nations should know which really is the Bible Sabbath and the turn to their creator and to their maker. We should also know that the one who tried to change the Bible Sabbath is the Antichrist because we read that in 321 is when the Antichrist they tried to change the Bible Sabbath. It was changed by Constantine in 321 when he said in the areas recognition of the observation of Sunday as a regular duty. A constitution of Constantine in 321 AD enacting that all courts of justice in actions of towns and workshops were to be at rest on Sunday. That is the venerable day of the sun, with an exception in favor of those engaged in agricultural rapper. And 
Encyclopedia Britannica 9th edition at course Sunday, the Latin original is in the course Justinian, that the course of Justinian. So you have understood this message, how beautiful it has been brought to you, and hold fast your faith. My brother, be faithful. My brother, serve the Lord where he may be found, because our time is coming when he will not be found. The true test we have in these last days, the beauty is worshipping God in the truth and in spirit. Peace be with you, and may God be with you, because you have taken your time to be with us all at this time. My name is Evangelist King Osiemo. Peace be with you. Father in heaven, thank you for being with us at this end. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Peace be with you until we meet again. Until we meet again or another time. Peace.